This is a funny hat. I've seen them before. I think I've sold them before. Um, no clock, no phone, no worries, no money. Retired. And the funny thing is my mom's husband, Mark, um, who we've interviewed before about retiring, <laughs> I think is retiring today or tomorrow. So someone else obviously is retiring too. 20 bucks. This is a cute uh, Pottery Barn teen uh, set, sort of like a half a set. It's a fitted sheet and a pillowcase, a standard pillowcase, 100% cotton. Um, I've had it for a while, so it's on sale, and it sold for 26 bucks. This is a vintage Desco wear, uh, flame red, orange, enamel, and cast iron uh, skillet with a wood handle. Uh, look how heavy this thing is. Nine pounds. So this looks good. Made in Belgium. Ooh, it's heavy. And there are marks in here. You can see it's well used. Um, and you can see the bottom. Oh, it's heavy. Cast iron. And it sold for 60 bucks. This is a lot of five uh, men's work shirts. I do believe they are um, all short sleeve and they have all of them have the name tag Norman which is kind of awesome <laughs> um, and there are five of them and they sold for $46.99 this is a vintage bottle of aspirin um, it's probably from the 50s or 60s still got the aspirin in it never used uh, still got the cotton up top um, and this bottle sold for $37. This is a vintage men's 100% uh, wool Stetson style hat made in the USA. Um, I've had this for several years. Uh, and I got a best offer of $35. This is a vintage Nordstrom brand uh, men's pinstripe uh, dress shirt. We have a bunch of, but they sell well, and this one sold for 25 bucks. This is a lot of 23 pasta extruders for a pasta making machine. Um, I got so many questions about these because they didn't have a brand on them, um, but they are worth a, a, a bit of money, and um, I did have the measurements on there, so I was waiting for someone to come along and do the measurements and decide they're correct for their machine, and someone did on the Global Shipping Program for 40 bucks. This is a bunch of grommets and a grommet set uh, tool. Vintage, totally old. And it sold for a best offer um, for $30 to someone in Germany through the Global Shipping Program. This is a beautiful wood painter's palette. Definitely used, great shape, got some paint marks on it. I had this up for 80 something and I got a best offer of 60 and I said yes, 60 bucks. These are two vintage uh, European military duffel bags. They're both different but they both sold to the same person um, for about $40 each, so $80. And they are a clothing designer, so that's pretty cool. This is a cute uh, nylon koala brand, koala leather. Uh, it's got some leather little parts to it, but it's mostly nylon. Um, but it's a super cute bag, and it sold for 40 bucks. This is a um, face cream jar um, from the 1800s from a company called County of Boston. Um, I bought three of these. At a, an estate sale, they were ten dollars each. Um, they all look pretty much the same, but they are hand painted, so they have some variations on them. So I did have to do three separate listings, um, especially this part was different on each one. See, the E is kind of wacky on this one, um, but they are a rare find. And I sold the first one uh, a few months ago for one hundred and seventy-five dollars. Um, and this one sold for full price of $200. And I have one left. These are a cute pair of uh, kind of pixie boots. And they have a nice um, sort of wingtip uh, cap toe there. They're all leather, definitely vintage. And they sold on sale for $34. These are a pair of men's polo jeans company. Ralph Lauren. Uh, kind of loafer 
Velcro shoes. They're kind of wacky. Um, but they sold on sale for $42. This is a vintage London Fog yellow and black stitching kind of mod trench coat. I thought this was so awesome, but I've had it for a really long time. I guess nobody else really thought it was awesome. So it sold on sale for $42. Still a great sale. This is a really cute uh, bottle opener. Uh, it's a wine bottle opener. It's chrome, made in Italy. Uh, it's the kind where you kind of wedge the uh, cork out of. I can never use these. I'm terrible at using them. Uh, but this sold for 15 bucks. This is an antique Persian rug, very worn out, very distressed. Um, still got a really nice look, beautiful pattern. Um, had some marks on it. It's a three by four rug. It's hand woven, handmade, definitely antique. Um, I had this up for three ninety nine. Um, I don't know how much I paid for it. I think I paid like ten dollars for it at an estate sale. And it sold for best offer on the Global Shipping Program for $200. This is a bunch of vintage pencil leads. Um, they're in these little containers. There's a bunch of them. Um, the brand of the pencil leads is faber Castle. You can see on the box. Um, they sold this on Global Shipping for $40. $40 for pencil leads. This is for people who collect pencils. Here's a pencil to put the pencil leads in. Pretty cool. This is a vintage Eddie Bauer bag. It is nylon. So that is probably a logo from the 80s. It's got a leather bottom. Really nice. Made in the USA so you know it's vintage. And sold for 50 bucks. This is a vintage 1959 Singer buttonholer. Uh, it comes with the original manual which is dated 1959 um, it's an attachment to your sewing machine so you can do buttonholes um, we have like four of these and we've had them for a long time and this one sold on sale for twenty eight dollars this is a really cute vintage purse it's like a shoulder purse it's hand embroidered it's got a cool liner and it is made in Greece wool and nylon blend I have a bunch of these actually and I've been waiting for them to sell and this finally sold for 40 bucks super cute a hundred percent wool handmade cozy for a tea kettle it's like a little cottage isn't it so cute I love it it's wool it feels like it's made out of like an old scarves it probably is and it sold for $40. This is a pair of Nine West made in Brazil. Definitely 80s, 70s or 80s. Mules. They're worn. But they're super cute. They've got kind of a western look. And they sold for $34. This is an electric tie rack. Um, it goes onto your closet pole there. And it's got a light, it's battery operated, um, and it sold for $25. This is a vintage wool um, herringbone pattern skirt. I've had it for a long time. As I've said, I've had a lot of skirts for a long time. Um, and they're priced at $10, and this one sold, 10 bucks. These are a set of Stedler um, Precision pens that you refill with ink. Um, people use them if they are architects or um, artists and they're high quality. These are used and <clears throat> some of them have ink in them, but most of them have to be refilled. So I sold them for $37. Another one of my scrubs top sold. This one has kind of a jewel toned butterfly pattern. Um, you can see the brand here. Scrubs, 100% cotton. Um, and it sold for 30 bucks. These are a pair of men's Dexter walking shoes. Um, they're size 11 double wide. So they're quite wide. And they sold on sale for $32. This is a t-shirt that says Ranger. It is the uh, patch that you would wear if you were an Army Ranger. 
And Jay wore this shirt for years and years, and people kept asking him if he was an army ranger. <laughs> and he kept having to say no, so people were very confused. Um, so we decided to just sell it, and it sold for $25. These are a pair of Evan Picone uh, fabric, kind of Victorian heeled shoes. Evan Picone. The cool thing is they're made in Spain. They have a leather sole, so that's going to hold up really well over time. And they sold for $34. 1970s Montgomery Ward brand suede and acrylic. Look, 100% virgin acrylic. Uh, kind of silly. And it's awesome. It's a zip-up cardigan, and it sold for 40 bucks. This is a U.S. military army nylon stuff sack for a sleeping bag, and I have about 20 of these. Uh, I probably need to lower the price, maybe even more, but right now it is $10.50, so this sold for $10.50. This is a slate um, clock face or sundial or anything you want it to be, really. Um, it is thick slate. We bought about 10 of these. And this one sold for $14. U.S. Army Woodland Camo uh, Jacket um, with a really cool patch that I don't know what it means, but it's awesome. And this sold for $35. Bucks. This is uh, either soapstone or uh, marble uh, bowl used with a pestle, like a mortar and pestle. Um, I don't have the pestle. Uh, but it is a big heavy bowl. It's tilted. It's very cool. And it sold for 30 bucks. These are a pair of gravity inversion boots. Basically, you put them on your legs and you hang upside down. Uh, I found them at our local thrift store for really cheap, like almost nothing. And I was like, Dad, those are super specialized and definitely vintage. And they sold for 66 bucks to someone in Finland. This is a vintage Sony Video 8, that's before Hi8, um, probably from the 90s. Uh, Handycam, it does turn on, um, but it just inadvertently turns off and has like a really shaky signal um, in the eyepiece. So it's kind of a bummer because I was hoping like some retro video person would want them or want this and... Someone did want it. Uh, I think I had it up for like 70 or something, and it got a best offer of 30. So in its condition, uh, I'm happy to get 30. So 30 bucks.